hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. And in a couple of videos, starting with this one, I want to show you how to use MathCAD. Now, this is not MATLAB, it's MathCAD. And for my money, this is the easiest way in the world to beat numbers out of a computer. There's hardly any programming, so it's not like MATLAB, where you wind up writing what looks like juiced up Fortran code some of the time. It's not Excel. Excel is for accountants, I think. And while well, it's a very good program, it's probably not the tool you need most of the time for technical calculations. The only thing I don't like about MathCAD right now is the name. It doesn't have anything to do with CAD. Not sure why they picked that name. Okay, but it's uh, a scratch pad. It you, you write problems down kind of like you would on a piece of paper. And uh, like I said, there's hardly any programming, and it's live, so that if you make a change to maybe the top of your file, it just, the change just flows down through just like it would in Excel. Now, it's easy to use. If you spend more than about 15 minutes at any one time trying to learn how to use MathCAD, going through the, the tutorials and things, you're probably making a mistake. You can get uh, doing useful stuff in 15 minutes. The tutorials are very good, so I'll point you to those as well. Now there's one thing you need to know about MathCAD. There are two versions out there right now as I'm shooting this in November of 2018. There's MathCAD version 15, and this is the ultimate development of the original that was out a long, long time ago. I started using MathCAD, I don't know, version 1 or version 2 in the old DOS and floppy disk days. I had two floppy disks in my computer, no hard drive, but I had two floppy disks. So I've been using this for a long, long time. And this one is pretty popular. It's, it's pretty stable. It's uh, widely used, or as widely used as any version of MathCAD is. The newer version is called MathCAD Prime. And Prime, I th my, my guess is, has a pretty good future. It got off to a pretty rough start. The early versions of Prime were perceived in the, in the user community as being not, not an improvement to 15. So 15 still gets used a lot. But as I'm um, shooting this video, the version right now out is Prime 5. And this seemed to, my, I'm guessing this is going to be the one that finally supplants this one. This is really old code, and it works very, very well. This has got some new features in it, some, some improvements. The idea for Prime 5 is they were going to just start fresh on new code. There's a lot of legacy stuff in here that it's probably more of a burden than it's worth right now. And Prime 5 is probably the one we'll go to. Uh, eventually in this series, I'll also introduce Prime 5. But for right now, we're going to use 15. That seems to be the most popular one. These are very uh, similar to one another. If you can use one, you can use the other one. And Prime 5 also has a feature where you can uh, convert uh, files from version 15 into Prime 5, so they'll run as well there. So with all that, let's go to my computer and I'll get started in MathCAD. Okay, here we are in MathCAD. And this is what it looks like when you first start it up. And so let's, let's work with this. You can see the uh, vertical lines here. Those are page breaks. All right now I'm looking at three pages. And if I want to change that, all I have to do is go to Page Setup. And there's what it looks like. I can make it letter size. I can make it some other size. I can go to portrait or landscape or whatever. Um, one of the little tricks you can play is when you run out of space on a particular page, you can reduce the margins and give yourself a little more uh, space to work with. Um, these things right here turn on toolbars. And typically, I use this one, this one, and this one. Okay? Now, there's some others. There's a Greek letter toolbar. I can use that later if I want. And there's a programming toolbar, a calculator, and a plotting toolbar, and a matrix toolbar. But for right now, I'm just going to use these. Since we're using, uh, looking at this on a screen, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit so we can see what we're looking at. And let's just get started. First thing you need to know is there's a couple different kinds of equal signs in MathCAD. And the ones we'll, we'll mess with right now are this one which is a definition. That means that's I'm trying to tell MathCAD something. I can just click there, or you can see that if, uh, let me go back on that, to uh, use that, all I have to do is hit a colon on the keyboard, a full colon. And here's the other one. This really is an equal sign. You hit the equal sign on the keyboard for this one. And this is when you want MathCAD to tell you something. So let's do this. Let me make up a function, plot it, and then I'll also plot its derivative. So here's a function, 
Now, I need to assign something. I'm trying to tell MathCAD something. So I'll click there. There it is, colon equals. If I want to use it on the keyboard, I just click the, uh, or hit equals, or if I want to use the keystroke, I just use the full colon. And let's do this. Sine of x uh, times, I don't know, e to the minus x over 5. Now I kind of ran off the screen there, so I can just pull that down. All right, so there's my function. Now if I want to insert a plot, I can either uh, go to the plot toolbar there. I can say insert graph. I want an XY plot. There's a bunch of different plots you can do, but let's just use an XY plot. Uh, for some reason, it's the ampersand key. I guess there's a finite number of keys. Pick one. Somebody pick that one. Uh, X, and I'll just type in F of X here. There. There's what it looks like. All right. Hmm. Let's make it bigger. So all I have to do now is grab this, pull that over, pull that down. Now, in MathCAD version 15, on the screen, that plot looks pretty blocky. That's one of those kind of leftover legacies from uh, the old days of MathCAD. And Prime 5, I don't think, does this. We'll cover that in a later video. Geez, it'd be nice to have uh, grid lines. So let's double click. This brings up a formatting window. I can do all kinds of things. So let's turn grid lines on. Apply. So there they are. Well, that green kind of makes my eyeballs hurt. Let's go to something a little less obnoxious. There, that's better. And I can do all kinds of things. I can change the scale, I can change the numbering, all kinds of stuff. So there's that. Now, um, I sure would like to do the derivative of that. So let's just do this. I'm going to make a variable called df of x, and I'm going to hit the full colon on my keyboard. There it is. And right there, see the derivative? Click that. Derivative with respect to x of f of x. Well, let's see. I, if I want to put a second curve on here, all I have to do is highlight that. I'm going to use the right arrow here. Now, to uh, get the insert uh, signal going the right direction. Now, I need to uh, highlight the whole function there, not just f, not just the x. So I'm going to hit the space bar. Space bar does that. Now, hit the comma, and now I'm ready to insert something else. So well, let's just do this. Let's see what this looks like. Well, there it is. Okay. Well, maybe I want that as a, instead of a, a dotted line, let's maybe go to a solid line. Yeah, it looks better. So there we go. There's that. Now, it would be nice also if I knew what d f of x was. It would be great if I knew what the uh, symbolic expression for that is. So I'm going to click right there, hit space bar, hit space bar again. So I've now... Uh, selected that whole expression on the right hand side of the equal sign. I'm going to go up to here, which is uh, evaluate symbolically. This doesn't look like an equal sign, but it acts like one. MathCAD does things numerically, pushing numbers around, but it also has a symbolic processor called MuPad, which is the same one MathCAD has. So I'm going to click right there. There it is. And do that. Now, and there I've got it. Now, this is a, uh, you can see it isn't quite rendering correctly. This is one of another one of these little legacy problems in version 15. Uh, to, to get it to refresh the screen, hit view, and right there, refresh. That yeah, looks better. So there it is. Now I know what the, the equation I typed in. I've evaluated the derivative, plotted it, but I also now know what the uh, symbolic derivative is. I didn't have to do that. MathCAD did that for me. Well, let's see. Maybe I want to change this a little bit. Let's do that. I'm going to change my function, and let's watch it uh, flow down through my little sheet here. There. And again, I'm going to hit Control-R to refresh. There's what it looks like now. You can see that I can change f of x, and the change flows uh, through the rest of the sheet. I don't need to worry about it. So there it is. Let's stop there for right now. Next video, I'll show you some more about plotting in two and three dimensions. Mm -hmm.